Hi everybody, it's Kathy here from Kathy Loves a Scrap and we're joining in on the May I Scrap Lift You day number four. We are scrap lifting Linda who is known as a scrapbooking photographer on YouTube and Instagram and this is the layout I've done for May the 4th. Of course I had to do a Star Wars today. I'm using some gold stars and a frame today. I also have these metal dies which I'm going to cut out in some gold carved stock to tie in with the theme of May the 4th. So I have gone through my scraps and I've collected a few pieces that I'm going to tie into the layout and strip in behind the photos. I'm using this ephemera in the corner which will go onto the layout. This was a photo taken recently of myself um, in the local shopping centre where they were celebrating Star Wars on May the 4th. I'm using a beige uh, cardstock and I have this uniquely creative paper here which is actually a map but it looks a little bit starish and I'm going to use this side, the road mappy side, to go in underneath. It's called Main Street. Um, the Papers are from Uniquely Creative and I think they'll tie in nicely with this layout. I also have this black uh, cardstock with the gold embossing on it and that will tie in with the gold uh, die cuts that I'm going to use throughout. So as I start all my layouts, I'm going to create my frame. If you haven't watched any of my videos, I cut a one inch frame gutting out the centre. If you have, I have moved on and done that pretty fast for you. I am going to rough up the edges of my um, paper today just to give it a bit of texture and a lift it off the page. I've mounted that and that became my base. I'm using some gold solar paste to uh, colour the frame. I am also going over the top with weathered wood paint to give an antique sort of look to the frame that I'm going to add in this layout. So all of these papers, I've roughed up the edges using um, the tool, the distressing tool, and that's just to lift it off the page and give it some um, dimension and some shadowing and some texture. I'm going to layer them on top of each other as Linda had done in hers, and I'm using the alternating colours of dark and light to add um, interest to this layout. So it actually is quite easy to do. The strips are uh, 10 and 3 quarter inches by 5 and a half inches. And then they're done at 10 and a quarter and 5. So that gives you how those measurements came together. I'm just distressing the scraps that I had uh, pulled apart to use in this layout. And I'm going to layer those up behind the corners of the photos. It's just to lift and add some more dimension to the page and give it a little bit more texture. I like the colour scheme that goes with it. Um, it ties in with the colours of the photograph and that's how I always choose my papers. I go by the colours from the photographs. I've got a mix of papers here. They're not all from the same brand. They're all from all different ones and as you can see, they marry nicely and that's because of the colours and the way I've chosen them. So I'm putting in my photo now and then I'm just going to lay my gold uh, die cuts that I have done. And they, of course, as you can see, are Star Wars die cuts. I'm going to put the frame, like Linda has on hers, around my photo. And my photo is larger than hers, but the idea is generally the same. So... This layout is coming together nice and easily. I popped up R2D2 on some foam tape, as you can see here, as I did for all the other um, die cuts, so that they're not on the page flat, but they are adding some detail to the layout. And you will see that they add that little bit of a shadow underneath. And I'm really sorry that the camera was a bit shaky there. I bumped it with my hand and I'm really sorry. So I found some wooden letters that I have in my stash. And I had May in one style of wooden letters and I had the TH in another. So I used black stickers to tie it together. I think it goes okay. May the 4th, um, tying it in with the theme and the colours match the overall layout. The black for Darth Vader, of course. I'm just adding some gold uh, enamel stars here in just as a little point of interest. 
being Star Wars, of course, and tying the gold theme into the layout and making it all match. So you can see how that's come together. And now I'm just putting in some splatters and I've been using my Distress inks to do that. And I find it so much easier and they do add that little bit extra to the layout. So it looks like a little bit of a star pattern. It looks a little bit out of this world. And I'm going to take that off to show you the photo. As you can see, I left that little tab knocked down and I'll just quickly add that to my layout. Um, I use double-sided expressive tape because it sticks and lasts and it doesn't lift. But as you can see, this layout has come together quite easily and it has paid home, homage to um, Linda's layout. And I'm pretty impressed that uh, I was able to do a May the 4th on May the 4th. So I hope there's something here that has inspired you. I hope there's something here that's taking your interest. I often get my children to take photos of me at displays in the shopping centres. It's just a little thing I do. Um, this is, of course, another one that I have done, and that has just been recently. You can see that I didn't cluster up lots. I didn't need to. Each of those die cuts made a statement of their own. So this is Linda's layout that I used, and this is how mine turned out. So I'm hoping that there's something in there that you were intrigued by, something that you liked, something that you may try out for yourself. So thank you for watching today. It um, really is May the 4th and for the Americans watching, it's National Scrapbooking Day. So happy National Scrapbooking Day. I am Kathy and I'm Kathy Loves to Scrap, Scrapping Down Under with you. I hope that you like something. Give me a like. It lets YouTube know that you want to see more of what I'm doing. Watch The Hop by following all of the people on the playlist. You'll see some amazing interpretations of Linda's layouts today. And remember, you can always find me on Instagram under Kathy Loves to Scrap, where you'll see all my layouts, even those that have no videos. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Happy scrapping!